NYC certificate, and you leave that school, and you are the first one, and you have siblings who are waiting, who are waiting for you to help them, because your mom had to do everything to ensure you got the education. And when you came out, what did you see? No jobs. Because those jobs were kept for children of who is who. So, you need to take it. Yeah. You need to take it in the right way. You need to empower yourself with knowledge. Because when you are knowledgeable, they cannot take that away from you. You need to empower yourself with unity. You don't have to be all the same. In your diversity, there should be unity. We fought the generational hatred. Throw it away because it hasn't taken us to end. I say to people, sometimes you hate somebody from another tribe. Do you know whether you're from that tribe? What if your parents will call you today and say to you, you are adopted? That that tribe that you hate, that's where you are from. What will you feel? They have divided us up based on religion, based on gender, based on age. And we stay divided, yet they are united. Leadership is gender neutral. Leadership is also age neutral. It's about what you've got. Care for the next person. And as I end today, I will end with two things. To say to you, the greatest crime in Nigeria is to be poor. Because when you're poor, you're faceless, you're nameless, and you're voiceless. The reason why a woman, Muhammad Iman, would die and say, Fura will be executed, and nothing is done about it. I tell you, it's because they are from the families of the poor. If they were who is who, all of us would be on the streets. And finally, I will say to you, the greatest injustice in Nigeria today is the fact that access to good quality education is dependent on the economic status of one's family. And that is a crime against humanity.